Hello students, I am Dr. Amit Bhatnagar, working as Senior Search Officer in the Department of Agronomy at J.B. Pant University of Agriculture and Technology, Pantnagar, Uttarakhand. What is the difference in light textured, medium textured and heavy textured soil with respect to nutrient availability, water logging, aeration and which soil is better in terms of soil fertility? So this question is very important and generally asked in competitive examinations in objective or type questions. So we should have clear cut idea or the thinking or the points, important points or the difference point between these light textured, medium textured and heavy textured soil. So first why this is called a light textured or medium textured or heavy textured soil. Actually if sand is more then it is called as a light textured soil. Actually texture is the uh, texture is the relative proportion of relative proportion of sand, silt and clay. If clay proportion is more then it is called as a clay soil, if sand proportion is more then it is called sandy soil and we know the particle size is it is about 0 0.2 to 0 0.02 mm, mm fine sand and silt is 0 0.02 to 0 0.002 mm and less than 0 0.002 mm particle size is called clay and the mineral content is also different in sand, silt and clay but the, uh, this categorization is based on their size ok. So this is the fine sand and the coarse sand is about 0 0.2 to uh, 2 millimeter so this is the coarse sand. So this uh, proportion of sand, silt, clay is 100 percent if we count the percentage wise and but there may be high percentage of clay or uh, sand. If there is more proportion of sand, then the soil is uh, termed as light soil. Light soil is termed light textured soil because when we go for the tillage and we do the tillage operation, then less energy is required because the particles are not sticky. They uh, separate very easily. While in case of clay soil, particles stick to each other and more force is required during tillage operation. So more mechanical force is required. So that's why the clay content is high then it is known as heavy textured soil and if not much high force is required then it is called as medium textured soil. So in, it means in light textured soil the proportion of sand is more or we can say it is sandy soil and here in case of heavy soil the clay proportion is more. So dominance of clay particles or it is the clay soil. While in case of uh, medium type, the proportion is equal, equal proportion, equal proportion of uh, sand, silt and clay and here is more proportion of sand and here in case of heavy soil, more proportion of clay soil. So uh, on the basis of the force required for tillage operation or to segregate or to separate the particles, uh, these soils are termed as uh, light soil, medium textured soil or heavy soil and in sandy soil the sand particles uh, have very less uh, cohesive force so that is why the particles separate each other and in case of uh, sandy soil actually uh, the particle size is large so particles are arranged in such a way that and in clay soil particles are small so they are arranged like that and they are very close to each other. Particles are small and close to each other and here the particles are large and far away to each other. So because cohesion force is less, cohesion is less and here cohesion is more between the particles. So particles are uh, come close together. So that is why the pore space, this is the pore space. This is the pore space, pore space is more and here pore space is very less, pore space is very less. So pore size, we can say pore size. So here micro pores are more and here micro pores are more. So this is the difference that in case of light textured soil, more proportion of micro pores and here more proportion of micro pores. So both the soil have macro pore and micro pore. But macropore is more than micropore 
and here micropore are more than micro pores and in case of uh, medium soil macro and micro in equal proportion equal macro and micro pores are equal proportion and this pore macro pores uh, are responsible for air circulation while micro pores are responsible for water retention so this is the reason that in case of light textured soil macro pores are more so aeration is very good so aeration root zone is aerated aeration is uh, very good we can say very good aeration and in case of heavy soil there are micro pores so aeration is poor and in case of medium soil it is good aeration and aeration is uh, important for the root respiration and the gaseous exchange so in that's why in heavy soil the root growth is poor while in case of sandy soil the root or underground biomass production is better and water logging since uh, micro pores are responsible for water retention so water logging is high in case of this heavy textured soil that is clay soil and uh, in case of this light textured soil macro pores are more and this macro pores cannot retain the water against the gravitational uh, force and micro pores can hold the water against the gravitational force so that's why water is maintained or remain in soil there is no internal drainage in case of heavy soil so water logging exists so whenever there is a rainfall or irrigation water logging situation create in heavy textured soil and clay soil and crop suffer badly while in case of sandy soil after irrigation or rainfall water percolate very easily and there is no water logging no water logging similarly in case of medium uh, textured soil there is no water logging because, uh, because uh, macro and micro pores are in equal proportion of uh, 50 if 50 so we can say this micro pore are non capillary pore micro pores are non capillary pore and this micro pores are capillary pore and capillary pore are responsible for water retention and non capillary pores are required for air circulation and here the macro and micro non capillary and capillary uh, proportion is 50 50 so water logging is not created uh, in case of medium soil and light textured soil similarly percolation is high because micro pores allow the downward movement of water and here in case of uh, heavy soil very low uh, percolation because micro pores do not allow water to move downward and retain the water and here it is medium when some water is percolated and some water is retained in capillary four uh, pores which is available to the plant and the water which is present in capillary pore is available to the plant so that's why capillary pore are very important for the water availability point of view but non capillary pore are important for root respiration so that's why this medium textured soil is very good which maintain the water availability through capillary pore and also maintain the root growth root respiration through micro pore while in case of light textured soil micro pores are more root respiration is good but water availability is poor in case of heavy textured soil uh, air circulation is very poor so root growth is poor root respiration is poor uh, but uh, water is available for longer period similarly leaching leaching is associated with the percolation when nutrient move along with the percolating water downward then it is termed as leaching so leaching is used for nutrient movement so leaching is high so whatever nutrient we applied through fertilizer it is leached down that's why soil fertility is poor in case of light textured soil and leaching is low in case of heavy textured soil when we apply the fertilizer or there is a manualization it remain in soil because there is no leaching if there is a leaching it means there is a loss of nutrient and it is medium so leaching or we can say low 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 or medium medium or low leaching so that's why uh, nutrient remain for longer period in case of medium textured soil and heavy textured soil cec if we see uh, look into the mineralogy or mineral composition of the sand particles there is no cohesive force and minerals are such that cc is very low 
एंड सी सी मीन्स कैटैन एक्सचेंज कैपेसिटी इज हाई इन केस ऑफ क्ले सॉइल क्ले मिनरल्स एंड सेंड सेंड सॉइल कैटैन एक्सचेंज कैपेसिटी इज लो एंड सी सी शुड बी हाई सो दैट वाटर इज रिटेन ऑन सॉइल कोलाइड इफ सी सी इज लो दैन इट मीन्स सो सॉइल कोलाइड सॉइल पार्टिकल इज नॉट एबल टू होल्ड द न्यूट्रिय एंड एंड इट विल कम इन टू द सॉइल सोल्यूशन एंड इट विल लीज डाउन एंड सॉइल फर्टिलिटी इज रिड्यूज सो सी सी शुड बी हाई इफ सी सी इज हाई देन सॉइल फर्टिलिटी इज गुड सो इन केस ऑफ दिस मीडियम टेक्स्टर्ड सॉइल इट इज अ मीडियम एंड हाई बिकॉज इट कंटेन द इक्वल प्रपोर्शन ऑफ सैंड सिल्ट एंड क्ले so nutrient ability if we look into the overall nutrient ability it is low and in case of heavy uh, textured soil if there is a water logging then uh, nutrients are not available because uh, of cec retention is good but anaerobic condition created uh, in heavy textured soil so nutrient ability become poor so that's why heavy textured soil it is uh, medium availability we are talking about the availability availability means there should be proper Uh, aeration proper root availability proper uh, cation exchange capacity while in case of medium textured soil a uh, nutrient availability is high uh, because uh, there is no anaerobic condition or uh, water is maintained which is important for the nutrient uh, uh, solubility and aeration is maintained which is important for root absorption so that's why uh, light textured soils are not good because uh, they they are not good in soil fertility similarly heavy textured soils are not also good because uh, these uh, soils have problem of water logging and anaerobic condition and restrict the uh, root growth so there is a problem of internal drainage so this uh, medium textured soil this is medium textured soil uh, very good because it maintain the nutrient availability root respiration and that's why these soils are considered the best soil medium textured soil is best soil and it is actually loam medium textured soils are actually loam soil which have equal proportion of sand silt and clay so if there is high clay content it is not good high sand content it is not good if equal proportion of sand silt and clay then it is good soil so loam soils are the best soil because these are medium textured and uh, soil which maintain the aeration as well as cc what a uh, nutrient availability uh, water availability root growth and overall plant growth and soil fertility is very good so medium textured soils are very good soils so that's why loam soils are considered the best soil for the crop cultivation so this is the uh, difference in light textured medium textured and heavy textured soil thank you very much